Hey there, my name is Dallas Jenkins and I am the creator of the show you are hopefully about to watch in just a moment, The Chosen. I'm so glad that you are checking this out. I do want to make sure that you do understand that if you want to watch all of the episodes and seasons, season one, season two, season three, the best place to watch them is on The Chosen app or the Angel Studios app. You can look those up in Google Play, the App Store, on your streaming device, Apple TV, Roku, Fire Stick. But that's the best place to watch the episodes. You're going to get higher quality, uh, both picture and sound, and you can watch it on your TV and all that. So it's great. So make sure that you do check that out if you want to watch more episodes. And uh, it's free and easy. So uh, you don't have to necessarily just watch this on YouTube. But if you are going to stay here and watch it on YouTube, that is fantastic. And let me just tell you what you're going to get with The Chosen and why we even made The Chosen. See, I believe that if you can see Jesus through the eyes of those who actually met him, you can potentially be changed and impacted in the same way that they were. Now, whether you are a believer or not, everyone can agree that the stories of Jesus, the stories from the Gospels, changed the world. And that historical dramas are quite interesting. I mean, I watch lots of historical dramas that contain some beliefs or from people that I might necessarily might not necessarily align with, but I still love them. And I think that's what we've been seeing with this show is people all over the world in literally every country and in dozens of languages, people are appreciating revisiting these stories. Now, I do want to let you know that when you watch episode one in particular, you might be about halfway through the episode thinking, wait a minute, I thought this was a Jesus show. Where's Jesus? Now, of course, Jesus will show up. And when he does, it's going to be very powerful. But until that point, we wanted to give you an introduction into the, the setting in which Jesus came, the historical context, the cultural context, and yes, the people who were there, what they were like before they encountered Jesus, both his followers and his enemies. And so what you're going to be seeing is the lives that they were leading, because I believe that you can connect with that. If you can connect with the questions they're asking and the challenges that they're facing, it makes these people that sometimes we see as stained glass windows, it turns them into human beings. And if we can connect with their questions and connect with their challenges, then maybe we can connect with the answer and the solution to those questions and challenges. I'm very grateful that you are checking out The Chosen. Make sure that if, again, I want to make sure you know that after episodes one and two here, you can check out the other episodes and seasons in The Chosen and The Angel apps. Enjoy. the words. Adonai's words. From the prophet. Isaiah. The prophet Isaiah write. Thus says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, fear not. Come now. I want to hear you sing. I want to hear your pretty voice. Come. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. You are mine. That's right.
Forgive me, Rabbi. Let me not see what he's doing. But a woman, ahead. Have you stopped us? It's not enough to say hello. I'm on official business. Only Roman business is official business. My name is Quintus. I'm the Praetor of Capernaum. And I am... You are the great Nicodemus. Word travels fast. Are you arresting me? <laughs> no, my friend. I'm a magistrate, not a military man. I serve the will of the people and Pilate. And I serve only God. Yes. Yes, so do your enemies, the Sadducees, the Essenes, the Zealots, rogue preachers in the wilderness, raving about a coming Messiah. They're all vying for the people's affection. What do you want, Quintus? I believe taxes are going unpaid. If you help me, I will help the Pharisees continue to thrive. How can I? The people already drowning in tax. Tell me, Nicodemus. What can be under the water and yet never drown? Fish? Voice thou. Pardon me, Mr. Public Highness. It's me that don't want to be seen with you, remember? It's Public Highness. I like it the other way. 
tax man. Hey, 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 hey! It's a month's salary for all my sons combined right there. Did you just toss them out? These are my property. I do with them as I wish. I pay you to drive. You sift through the trash on your own time. Driving you's a bit of cloth now, isn't it? <laughs> if any citizen asks about my cargo, I must tell the truth. <laughs> it's the biggest pile of dung in all Capernaum. <laughs> no, honestly. I always look forward to my annual visit to Capernaum and your magnificent Sea of Galilee. It is truly the envy of the kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Even my children are enamored of it. All day they would swim, frolic in the sand, and watch the people. Finally one day I said, you love it here so much. Why is it you never go to the sea when we visit your grandparents back home? My son, he just shrugged and said, but father, there's never anyone there. It's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and your sea boasts the most exquisite fish. How unfortunate that those who do the actual fishing are unholy. Foul mouth given to gambling in secret dens at even fishing on Shabbat. Can we eat the catch and not be stained by the sins of the catcher? Make no mistake. It is a sin to eat fish caught on Shabbat. What goes into the body of a man defiles him. Why are our Jewish brethren taking their boats to sea on Shabbat? I assure you, the Messiah will not come until this wickedness is purged from our midst. Your actions are being watched, studied. God has entrusted you to be exemplary in every way. Now, if your status is too great a burden, you do not deserve to bear the name of Israel. I want to see my reflection in it plain as day. This teacher has traveled all the way from Judea. He is a member of the great Sanhedrin in Jerusalem, and I won't have him seated at the dull table. Yusuf, fix your talit. Here he comes. Away, go, get the others. Bye-bye. <sighs> Teacher, you have moved us all. Shmuel? Will you do us the honor, Rabbi? If that's where you keep the white sardines. Uh, uh, we certainly could get... It was a joke, Shmuel. <sighs> a fine Torah room is the heartbeat of a worthy synagogue, Shmuel. Thank you, teacher of Israel. You do us a great honor. The honor is mine. Not only for your bright students, but also for the soul of this city. You heard my address. Of course, your words will resonate for generations. You were luminous. In my remarks, I asked for rhetorical purposes, why are Jews taking boats to sea on Shabbat? That question was meant for you, Rabbi Shmuel. The reports are becoming too frequent to ignore. Of course, Rabbi, we, I will control it better. The Romans believe we do not work on Sabbath, thus they do not patrol. Greed has overcome the fishermen. Or they are just trying to feed their families. Begging your pardon, Rabbi, the centurion is here. He demands to speak with you. Please tell him we have an honored guest and cannot be interrupted. Can't wait. Messiah, come quickly. Impressive. Looks like we're not the only ones taxing the people. What do you want, Commander? I'm no commander, but at least you know your place. This is Nicodemus, teacher of teachers. Show some respect. Ah, just the man I want to see. I'm here about a Hebrew woman in the Red Quarter. Let's just say she's been causing a disturbance. You have an entire Roman legion at your disposal. Thank you for the reminder, Jew. But she needs a holy man. We are men of God. It is not our custom to frequent the Red Quarter. Quarter. Perhaps I wasn't clear. Teacher of teachers. You'll accompany me to the Red Quarter, or we'll burn it down with our fire of fires. Psst. 
stop. Wait, this is the far side of the market. Get out. No. No? This is the job. You drive so I don't walk to the market. It's too crowded. Out! I'll pay you double. Money won't buy this thing of me and my family if I am seen with you. Out! This is very unprofessional. Fire me. You're late, Gaius. I know. Could you feel it? Feel what? Market. It's on fire today. Everybody's on edge. All it would take is one person to snap, and you are. Just do your job. Better hope. out the other lowlifes to protect your delicate sensibilities. What is that? Shh. I need materials. Spiral! Sulfur, metals, uh, here's up. Wormwood. Go. Yes, you too. Well? Do your job. Listen, I agreed to Quintus's request. Not a demand, because he should not demand anything of me. To stop Shabbat fishing, which was already our law, and by doing so was not a violation of my practice. And I will try to help this woman, even though it falls outside of my purview. But do not think of me as a tool to fix Roman problems. I will not continue to use my position of religious influence to benefit those who look down on my people, whether it's you or even someone like Quintus. So, I will perform this task, but I want it noted for your superiors. This is an exception! So can we go now? Yes. Suck a dirt if you know what is good for you. Pay me, 
much, Joseph. You're too powerful. That's right. Like I tell you every time I see you. Like I tell my sister. <laughs> yes. Seriously, I can only take maybe two. One. One more punch. One more and I'm done. He says he's had it! Saying something about your sister. You think if you keep hitting me hard enough, I won't be married to her anymore? That's why they call me Wine Hands, because of what I do to your liver. I don't want to do this, Josephat. Can we please stop fighting every week? I know you never trusted me, but I love your sister more than anything. I will stop fighting you. You will? But my brother won't. Your brother? <laughs> Where is it written down, Andrew? Huh? Answer me that. I'm so foolish. How's a double knockout a push if it's two on one? Made up rule right there. Made up or in stone. Who cares? We lost. And I know better. No, no. It's my fault. I talked you into it. <sighs> wine hands? Sounded more clever in my head. Tax day is coming. Mm-hmm. Two sunrises away, Shabbat, and then... I realized, Simon, thank you. We could lose the boat. What are you gonna do? Don't know. Blood from a storm. Where are you going? Going to work. Work? It's Shabbat in an hour. Well, the Pharisees make allowances for that if lives are at stake. No one's life is at stake. No, no, not this moment, but it's coming. What are you gonna tell your bug-eating friend about it? No, 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 no. Just me, not dragging into this. What about Eden? She's staying at her emas tonight. You're crazy. You know that? Nah, just desperate. How long has she been like this? Like what? I'm trying to help her, Rivka. All you're gonna do is mess this place up. Then what? You're gonna stop by and help clean The demons Rabbi. that torment her soul will turn your place to dust. Even if you care nothing for her soul, at least... Lilith never hurt anyone that didn't hurt her first. Mostly. She has these spells. We let her be and then she's as sweet as an angel again. Curse it all, Lil! You can put an end to this. I adjure you by the holy angels. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, and Raziel. I adjure you, cursed dragon, and diabolical legions. Come out! 
I adjure you, spawn of Beelzebub, a pattern and shield by the utterance of all the watchers and the holy ones. In the name of Adonai, God of the heavens, cease to deceive this human creature. I command you, in covenant with Abraham, in the names of Jacob, Isaac, Moses, the all-powerful El Shaddai. Fly from this innocent soul! Simon. Oh. Hello, love. Don't you hello love me. Why did you beat up Jehoshaphat? What? My own brother. He attacked me. Again. He needs to know the husband of his sister is strong. Hey, but Andrew had no right to jump Abraham from behind. Where are you getting this? Oh. <laughs> My brothers. They are fantastic storytellers, no? Tellers of fantastic stories, yes, they are. They went into such great detail. You must have really given them a pounding. Well, I was doing okay till Abe came out of nowhere. Cost me and Andrew a lot of money. Oh, no. They shouldn't cheat you like that when you are also cheating. All right, all right. <laughs> well, oh, pardon me for saying so, love, but your Don't. family... What? Don't you say that my family is troubled in the mind, Simon. Okay. We are colorful and fun. You are stoic and purposeful. You think I'm stoic? Well, compared to me, together we're perfection. Stoic, huh? Never heard that before. I like it. You and me, fire and water. Mm -hmm. I like it. So how was Ima's Shabbat dinner? It was lovely. How was fishing? What? Yesterday's catch. Good news? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, pulled something in. Could be big. Good. Let's go to synagogue. And please go change. You still smell. What do we do when we are scared? We say the words. Adonai's words. Thus says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel. Fear not.
<laughs> Thus said the Lord, who formed you, O Jacob. And he who created you, O Israel. Fear not. <laughs> Shabbat on the Kaaba. Alive. We heard there was trouble. Come, sit. I can't stay long. I know. Please, sit. Fresh off the boat from Cyprus. No, I don't have the strength. Come now. You know what they say. A mock a prevention? There is no preventing this, Saul. There is no cure. Come on, Lily. It's getting worse. Yesterday they brought in a holy man. Someone important. Maybe even from Jerusalem. I only remember bits and pieces and flashes. The Pharisee? He's a leader of the Pharisees and he ran away in terror. So One religious big shot just as full of it as the next. No, I am in hell. I'm sorry. Please. Just try. I brought you something. You didn't have to. To your nephew. I'm one of your nephews. Thank you. Looks like it was loved for a very long time. It used to hold something valuable. I don't need it anymore. You're beginning to scare me. You and everyone else. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Thank you. There's something I need to do. And now. Eunuch! You listen good now. You drink that up, and then the next one, and then the next one. And then you stay here till you feel better, or till hell comes. And if it does, we face it together. Not if you were my worst than me. Eunuch, we're thirsty here. Okay. We'll be late to dinner. 
I know. You did everything you could for her. Now put it out of your mind. I can never forget what I saw. Tonight, you are an honored guest. Leaders will expect you to perform oh. and to have your wits about you. Why? Why must I perform? First I perform for Quintus. You then taught for God's law. Soldiers, Lord. then for, for the slum dwellers. And this, what, what sort of performance is this? When did Shabbat become theater? You are the teacher of Israel. You do not have questions, you have answers. You have authority. You bring clarity, not confusion. Come here. Come here. Tell me. What do you see in the mirror? It is a cheap glass. I can barely make out anything at all. Sometimes I wonder if what we can know of Adonai and the law is just as blurred. What if we're not seeing the whole picture? What if it's more beautiful and and more strange than we can ever imagine. That is the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. It might even be blasphemy. It was just a thought. And you will never utter those thoughts in public. A man is free to question in his heart. Then all leave right. it in your heart. This is a serious engagement. They expect an erudite teacher, not a doubting, blaspheming fool. Others saw what happened in the Red District. And what did they see? You rose to your rank on merit. You have dedicated your life's work to serve God, not to become him. I failed. Stop it. It was a mistake to be there in the first place. But from now on, stick to the academy. Leave exorcism to the exorcists. You're right. I should never have been there. You spoke the words. Demon did not respond. Demons. God himself could have drawn them out. Nico. I'm coming. Only God himself. Your first thought might be that I should never have set foot in the Red District at all. And I would say you are probably correct. Often we make decisions in haste in our desire to correct a lost soul. But how to explain what happened when I was there? Brothers, when we follow God's law to the letter, God is alive through us. Would you agree, people? Yes, Rabbi. Yes, and yes, he yes. lives through you and you and you if you follow his law. Now, imagine, if you can, 
one who heeds only wickedness for a lifetime. Demons root in wicked souls as pigs in filth. A possession like this was fatal. And souls such as hers, sadly, are beyond all human aid. How would you address me? With my life. Let me talk to the tax man. Matthew, don't trust you that much. What if I told you I could save the boat and put us back in good standing? Nope. You don't even know what I'm gonna say. Don't care. It's something foolish. And I'm finally ready to face this. You know, this affects me too. Me and Eden. Maybe you should think of that the next time you feel like taking off for a week. That is so like you or playing knucklebones at the hammer, or cheating your brothers in law for some easy scratch. I met a guy. Oh, really? Wow! Get the papyrus. Simon met a guy. Well, let's just go hand over our livelihood. I'm done. You're done? As I'll ever be. Good. 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 Your last tribute was collected the first month of summer. Hmm. Your account is therefore delinquent by 40 days. At a penalty rate of 10% weekly. Six weeks? That's right. You're lucky to not be in jail. Hey. He's saying 60% the penalties. What's that leave you with? Simon, I came with about 60% of what I owe. I can't even pay. We're ruined. Well, now it's we. Uh, it's a high number. I say this based on your tribute history and future prospects. How do you choose to square your account? Are there gems inside? Just silver. Gold? Just open the purse. This will cover about half of your penalty balance. Half the penalty? My records indicate that you filed for an extension not once, not twice. You just needed a couple of extra days, man. I'm ruined. Extended rates compound at 15%. As collateral, you've listed a fishing vessel and property at... All right, all right, I'm sorry about that. What my brother didn't mention was our arrangement with Quintus. You have business with Quintus? Yeah. My brother's debt, and a year gratis for both of us. This will be verified with Quintus directly. If there's any inconsistency... There won't be. Now, can I get my brother's not gold back? 
Thanks, man. This will be verified with Quintus if you are misinformed. I know, I know, you'll see. What just happened? Don't speak, just walk. Next! Well, fishing didn't exactly go like I planned the other night. What's that got to do? I caught nothing. Net after net after net empty. I catch a breeze around the point and all of a sudden I know where the nets are empty. A merchant fleet, six boats across, netting everything. What do you do? I follow them. Uh, maybe, <gasps> uh, maybe I'd catch them sleeping, snatch a net during cleanup, but it didn't work. Of course it didn't. <sighs> Desperate times, huh? I even anchored and swam in thinking maybe I could get scraps, but they loaded up like clockwork. Had carts with mules ready to move. So I sail home, dock up, and wouldn't you know, this sniveling Roman standing on shore. I couldn't believe it. They never bothered patrolling on Shabbat. Come on, man. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't even bother trying to run. Good idea, considering how you run. Anyway, as he approaches me, I'm trying to figure out why he's even there. Why they, they don't care about any of our rules. But then I realize they don't get the tax because we don't report any Shabbat catches. So I tell him if he took me straight to Quintus, I'd let them know who caught more in one night than the guy they're arresting catches in a week. Wait, 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 wait. So you offer to turn in fishermen? No, not fishermen, merchants. And guess who walks up behind me? Guess. Quintus. <laughs> He's thorough, I guess. So yes, we talked, and what I said to Matthew was real. I don't like it. It's dangerous. Yeah, well, so sleeping outside. Besides, what's a merchant ever done for you? So what? They are... They are our people. We're clearing the way for the little we? guy. We? Leveling the playing field, yeah. We. You will be cursed if you inform on them. We? Not doing anything. Andrew, that's fine. Better get moving, though, if you want to catch the tax man. Might still be enough daylight to get out of the house before they take it. Just let me see if Quintus can verify their story. If those Hebrew sea rats were lying, Quintus will have them killed and collect their tribute from you. So, did it work? I'm sorry, Lilith. Lilith? What? We should talk, huh? Leave me alone. Oh, what, huh? He's going to scratch me, too. Come on. Not now. So, see. Not now. She smells anyway. I don't know what else I can do to help you. Give me that. Lots of it. That's not going to solve your problems. It's meant to distract from no them. No more preaching. Just give it to me. Lilith, please listen to what I'm saying.
said, leave me. That's not for you. Don't touch me. Oh. Lily. Lily. Lily, are you okay? I... I have to go. Leave me alone. says the Lord who created you and he who formed you. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Star. And if you think I'll fall for that, Eli, you must think I was born yesterday. Was there a Shabbat when you were little? Of course. Since the time of the covenant. Every seven days. Why so many, Safta? Shabbat is a time for rest and time to honor three things. Family, our people, and God. Family like Safta and Saba? Yes, and you, Ima and Abba, of course. Close friends are like family, too. Who else? We honor our fellow citizens on Shabbat. Strangers after? We are all God's people. Even friends we haven't met. But most important of all, we honor God in all his works. We rest because he rested on the seventh day. We rest to refresh our souls, to know him better. Woman of valor, who can find her? This is the Eshit Chaya, an ode to women of valor. Far beyond jewels is her value. Her husband's heart trusts in her, and he should lack no fortune. There! Oh. May God make you like Ephraim and Manasseh. May God make you like Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. On the sixth day, heaven and earth and all their hosts were complete. And God finished by the seventh day all his work which he had done. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe. And all his work which has God finished creates the fruit of the vine. Amen. Amen. Oh, oh, oh. 
so good at that. Mary, you try. Oh, no. No, no, I can't. Yes. I have seen you braid Leah. You are wonderful. <sighs> Go ahead. Two pieces. How'd I do? Told you she was excellent. It is a shame only Ananias would see it. You know what would be great? Hmm. Do we have any flowers? Oh, I'll get the buttercup. Don't move. What did he say? He detests you as much as I do. And? This was a horrible idea. Gaius, we must see Quintus. Or what? He does not need to clarify anything for you. I mean, do you have any idea who... No, clearly, you do not. Dumb question. Idea of what? Who you are dealing with. Yes, I do. Really? Yes. He is the Roman occupying overseer of this region, and his primary responsibilities are to enforce the law and ensure Financial stability. I am aware of his responsibilities. I don't think you know what he's capable of. If he's made a deal with this Simon person, I have valuable information related to his job. Have you ever heard of somebody making a decision based on a hunch? If he has, then I must let him know. Yes, you must. But listen, I don't want to have to carry your corpse out, so I'm going to wait outside for your replacement. Good luck. I don't understand. You are a fool. Publicanus requests an audience. Publicanus? Yes, Dominus. And are you his escort, Centurion? Yes. So where are you going? Securing the passageway, Praetor. Ah. Well done. Come on. So a Jew tax collector and his escort demand to see the Praetor of Judea. It's urgent, they say. A matter of life and death. Well, last night burned very hot, and today I'm ash, so I'll get to the point. Why should I not kill you both? You first. Dominus, I was recently approached by a man while at my tax collection. Bastard. He was many months delinquent. To relieve the substantial amount Skip of debt... Skip to the end. Did you hire a man to spy on Jewish merchant vessels fishing on Shabbat to avoid taxation? Yes. Simon. Is he in your district? He is. His debts are forgiven. Surprise. As well as those of his brother? His... Yes. Forgiven. Goodbye. Thank you for your time, Praetor. I do not find Simon reliable. Once he was deficient in his taxes, and when I pursued remedy, I discovered that he had spent an inordinate amount on games of chance at the local establishment. Additionally, based on his financial status, I questioned Simon's connections to the merchant class. In spite of his current intentions, I do not believe you have an accurate understanding of what he can deliver. I'm sorry for this dishonor, Peter. Say your last prayer, Jew. Stay there a moment, Captain. Are you saying I made a bad deal? Yes. <laughs> Where did he come from? <laughs> 
Here, Capernaum, Dominus. My brothers across the world search for brave men to spare and recruit, but our power prohibits those very efforts for what sane person would stand up to the Roman Empire. I am sane. Yes, but a very different kind of sane. I'm sorry, I don't understand. So, you say this Simon isn't at the level of the merchant class at sea, but he claims they all spend time at the same establishments. Is that false? I'm afraid I'm not aware of their social interactions. But even if that were true, it would be highly unusual for Jewish men to betray one another. So says the Jew who collects taxes from them. Mine is a different circumstance. Spare I... me. I admire it. Well, it won't surprise you to learn that to date, Simon has not fulfilled his obligation to uncover the tax evaders. He's in breach of contract. Not yet. But time may prove you out. Uh, what are you called? Matthew, Dominus. I may yet have need of your keen powers of observation, Matthew. A special assignment. I would relish the opportunity, Dominus. Of course you would. I'll be in touch, Matthew of Capernaum. Thank you, Dominus. Thank you. All right, around for the table. I know you all need this to have a good time. What is this about? God, Baruch, I can't celebrate my brothers and sisters. So, so, make sure Amos gets a side though. He can't handle the good stuff. <laughs> to buy a Jason, you'll need this to drown your sorrows after you lose this game. And <laughs> you, I don't know your name, you're new, but wow, well, huh? We're not afraid you'll steal our fish, we're afraid you'll steal our women. Look at this man, like Absalom, no? Only <laughs> better, better than Absalom. Stay away from low-hanging branches, my boy. <laughs> Stay away from steep staircases, old man. That's it, Sol? None for Jason? Oh, what did he do this time? Ask her wife. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking alone again, Simon? Well, you merchants need twice the help at sea. I need twice the help on land. Oh, what's your bet? What's your bet? John, I see the hammer changed its rules on allowing children. Go get caught in a net. But you're here with a responsible adult. Uh, so make sure James and John get some too. Please, please, after you, please. What is that? Whatever do you mean, brother? Your face. You happy? Oh, I'm handsome. I just happen to be wearing a happy face. I need drinks for the merchants. You fattening your lambs before the slaughter? I don't want you to be miserable. You are, so I should be too, no? I want you to be serious. This is not a game. Oh, nothing wrong with enjoying a little financial freedom. A temporary reprieve from doom. The double knockout. Well, it's shame. Thanks, Juli. Get your footwork down, and next time yeah, you see Yeah, yeah, I'll practice. Thank you, Juli. Thank you. Temporary reprieve. Oh. Believe it or not, I don't like it either. But these men, they're not family. You and Eden are my responsibility, not them. You two keep me up at night, not them. And you want to be rich. Yeah, well, I thought I'd try the sentimental route. Maybe it's not my best look. Studying was. Apologies, Rabbi. What is so urgent, Shmuel? The judges of our Sanhedrin sent for you. The Avbatin himself requests your presence. God is good. What happened?
Rabbi Nicodemus of the Great Sanhedrin. We are greatly honored by your presence. The honor is mine, Abed Dean. I was given the impression there was a matter of some urgency. We are considering a formal inquiry. What are the charges? A miracle, Rabbi of Rabbis. This man's testimony is clear. His account, miraculous. The woman in the Red Quarter to whom you offered rights, she is redeemed. You, you saw her? Yes, teacher. Perfectly restored and radiant. Wait. At the hairdressers at the market. Men are not allowed at the hairdressers. Of course, I did not go in. But she was on an errand. I believed my eyes betrayed me, so I followed until I was certain. There can be no doubt. Teacher, you were successful. I told Silence. you. Silence. This is an unparalleled revelation. You yourself pointed out that the depth of her demonic oppression was beyond human aid. We want to send word to Jerusalem at once. Abed Dean, with your permission, I would like to investigate the sighting myself before you conduct a formal inquiry into this or have news of it spread. We will, of course, yield to your request, but may we inquire as to the reason for your reticence? Just as this exorcism took some time to prove effective, it may have a tentative hold. It could come as a shock for a young woman of her station to be poured over by your learned judges, whereas mine's a familiar face. It is decided. Conduct your investigation, but please be efficient. News of this kind, it grows legs. Andrew, Andrew, will you help me, please? Help you with what? Barely see anything. Of course, it's the darkest night in weeks. Mm. Okay, we saw Huri Chaim and Baruch all come in, offloading and cleaning their holes. Of course, tomorrow is Shabbat. Well, there's still a fleet out there. They're, they're sailing late because they're not cleaning out the holes tonight. They're definitely sailing tomorrow. I'm guessing it's Amos. This is all a waste of time if it is. What do you mean? What I mean is Gideon and Tobiah sail with Amos. No, I'm not saying it's Amos for sure or not. Whoever it is, they're definitely sailing tomorrow. We got them. We got them. Those are our brothers. Tobiah looks to you before his own father. So what? Well, it's my fault that a dumb kid doesn't know better? I keep waiting for you to tell me this is all part of a plan to double-cross the Romans. Andrew, there is a crew out there. That crew is stealing food out of Eden's mouth. They're gonna take our boat, maybe our lives. Maybe, but we made our choices too. You think this was a choice? You're not teaching today. I have research. Now don't be too long. Our guests will be arriving early. Oh. Nico, they are dear colleagues who admire you. They have been waiting weeks for the teacher of teachers to lead Shabbat. It will be like sharing loaves with God himself. Sharing? Look. <laughs> Am I the only one hearing this? It's a small gathering. You just go through it quickly. I try to avoid spending too much time honoring God and our heritage. Stop! Oh, 
Are you the Messiah? Do you want to lose that ugly nose of yours? Thank you. Only one language keeps their peace, Marcus. None to speak it. Matthew, another unhappy citizen expressing his disapproval? I'll be fine. Oh, you're disgusting. Go home. I have a job to do. My father never allowed me to shirk responsibility. Well, he raised you right. You must have Roman blood. We don't speak. Jews are odd. People are. How can you not have a relationship with your own father? He says he has no son. Next. I got them. <laughs> At least I think they're right. That's what everyone else was getting. Oh, what did you get, Maddie? Shabbat candles. Okay, I would not have guessed that. Maddie's for Shabbat dinner in a little while. In a long while. I barely remember how to do it. It'll be great. I know how to make the bread. Part of it. <laughs> what do you make part of a loaf of bread? If you're hosting Shabbat, sweetheart, you better get moving. Preparations might take you all afternoon. Really? Just to be safe. I haven't even swept. Get out of here. Get the fire going first thing. Mm, I'm excited and a little terrified. After you, Ned, rest the dough. Mm. What this kind of advice? What could go wrong? Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. It's you. It's real. Lilla. No, no, please, don't be frightened. My name is Nicodemus. I, I ministered to you, Lilith. I don't answer to that name. I am Mary. I was born Mary. But you were called Lilith, yes? Please, I must go. No, no, please, Mary. I, I am desperate for your help, Mary. I'm a, I'm a Pharisee. I'm visiting from Jerusalem. I'm a man of God. And I believe you have experienced a miracle, Mary. Are you really a Pharisee? Yes. I'm sorry, I wasn't... I'm not here to enforce Jewish law. So how do you know who I am? You really don't remember me at all. I burned incense. I don't remember. It's all a blur. I can't go back into that. No, no, I don't want you to. I can't even imagine. But you you are healed. That, that much is clear. I just want to understand how it happened. That makes two of us. <laughs> how long after my visit did you feel the change? It wasn't anything you did. It was someone else. Some... one... else? He called me Mary. He said, I am his. I am redeemed. And it was so? Who? <sighs> did this? I don't know his name. And even if I did, I could not tell you. Why not? His time for men to know has not yet come. His time for men? <laughs> he performs miracles and seeks no credit? What does he look like? Is he a member of Sanhedrin? Would you at least know him if you saw him again? <laughs> I don't know why I am sharing this with you. I... I don't understand it myself. But here is what I can tell you. I was one way. And now I am completely different. And the thing that happened in between was him. 
So yes, I will know him for the rest of my life. <laughs> I have to be home to prepare for Shabbat, as I'm sure you do. So mean that you're even hosting Shabbat dinner. It will be nothing like yours, I'm sure of that. But I'm going to try. Shabbat Shalom Nikodemus. Shabbat Shalom, Mary. It's not morning. Good for seeing you then. Mm. The bread is wonderful. I know. How's fishing? It's fine. Really? You're surprised. Why would I be surprised? I don't know. What that mean? You haven't taken a catch to market for days. And yet you have uh, flour, vegetables. Did you sleep in a warm bed last night? In fits. Why are you baiting me? I don't understand what's happening. Nothing is you happening. You don't sell to market. Your hours are upside down. And your face is frozen in worry. Don't tell me nothing is happening. We're in a challenging season right now. I just need to work hard to get through it. And I'll get caught up tonight. And I'll be right tonight? on the way. Tonight? What do you mean? I'm not happy about this either. I need to work tonight. You so need that to work on Shabbat. It's a special circumstance. I can't get into it right now. Andrew will be here for dinner as normal, and I'll just be gone for a few hours. Oh, well, would you like me to fix your Shabbat plate to take with you? Listen, love, I know this Don't is not Don't listen, ideal. love me. I'm not a child. I just need you to trust me on this. Please. I've, I've got this, Eden. You answer to God, not me. But next time, you answer to the both of us. Because whatever this is, I don't have the strength for it twice. If there's any left when they come back, I'll give it to you. on your mind, love? How's my nan? Do you know the significance? Tell me. 200 years ago, we were ruled by the Greek king Antiochus IV. He suppressed our religious observances. It wasn't until the Maccabees revolted and ushered in the Hasmonean dynasty that 
our worship was restored. You are as smart as you are handsome. Who is responsible for suppressing our worship now? I fear I know the answer. It is a beautiful tapestry. Should the artist have made it less so? To what purpose? Sadness? A conquered people? You are wise as you are beautiful. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Rabbi. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Oh, honored Rabbi. We are humbled and honored by your presence in Capernaum. You make us whole. Only God can do that. Shall we join the others? Thank you. Try to get the seat near the head of the table. A woman of valor who can find. Thank you, Miss Mary. This is a fine place. Oh, thank you. Are we on? Is it still on? Yes, Shula. How did you find us? I followed that mule, Barnaby. <laughs> Not that he waited. Looking as handsome as ever, Barnaby. <laughs> Lucky guess, Shula. <laughs> is this the place? If Mary's here, it is. Do I know you? Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm James. This is Thaddeus. We were told this would be a good place to come. We can leave if it's awkward. Oh, oh no, oh, please come in. You're most welcome here. So, can we help? Oh, no. Well, uh, yes, I... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I see food. That's a victory. If I'm not doing something or doing something wrong, you tell me. Oh, nonsense. It's already great. I can't remember the last time I was invited to Shabbat dinner. Me, never. you never been to Shabbat? Of course I've been to one, been to lots. Just never got invited. <laughs> 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 Who's the extra seat for? Oh, uh, for Elijah, am I right? I, I remember my mother always setting an extra place for Elijah. That's only for Passover. Just once a year at Seder. Oh. Well, when Seder comes, I'll have a head start on setting up. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know, so yeah, just notes. <laughs> Let's see. Can I read it for you, Mary? Stop it, Barnaby. I read better than you. <laughs> My father taught me. Very impressive. <sighs> uh, oh, uh, is the first star out? Yes, let's eat. Like I said, you are very popular. Or it's a Pharisee here to shut us down for letting you be here. Hello, Mary. Hello. It's good to see you. Yes. Yes. I don't want to be rude, but would it be okay if, if I... Oh! <laughs> yes, of course. Please come in. I just never thought you'd... Um... I, I have guests here. Uh, this is my first time. I don't know what I'm doing. Rabbi. Rabbi. You already know these men? They are students of mine. I trust they have been polite. Of course. Your guests can take the seat. Yes, Mary? Oh, of course. <laughs> yes, of course, please have a seat. I keep saying of course a lot. <laughs> um, Francis is the man I told you about who, um, who helped me. Oh, yes, yeah, Mary told us so much about you. Oh, I hope not too much. I'm Barnaby, this is Shula. 
She is blind. Ah. In case you couldn't tell. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I don't actually know your name. I'm Jesus of Nazareth. Huh. Well, apparently something good can come from Nazareth. <laughs> well. Mary, I'm honored to be here. Why don't you begin? Oh, no, I, I couldn't now that you are here. You must. Thank you, but this is your home, and I would love for you to do it. Now the heavens and the earth were completed and all their hosts. And God completed on the seventh day his work that he did. And God, and God abstained on the seventh day from all the work he did. And God blessed the seventh day and he hallowed it. For thereon he abstained from all the work that God created to do. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. You have lovingly and willingly given us. You have lovingly and willingly given us your Shabbat as an inheritance in memory of creation. Because this is the first day of our holy assemblies in memory of the exodus from Egypt. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth the bread from the earth. Amen. 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 Two episodes down, six more to go in season one. Then there's eight episodes in season two. And there's also season three. And the best way to watch them is in the Chosen app or the Angel Studios app. You just look in the App Store, Google Play, or your streaming devices. But if you want to continue to watch on YouTube, you can, of course, do that. But I do want to mention that those apps are free and easy. So you can watch the show free and easy on the Chosen app or the Angel Studios app. But I will see you for episodes three and four. Episode three is pretty cool. This is when Jesus encounters some children out in the wilderness. And this is one of the most talked about episodes that we've ever done. So make sure you check it out.